In this quick video, I will show you how to create the chart DOM trader in Sierra chart. My name is Andre. I'm professional future trader and trader of Sierra chart. You directly see the chart DOM on the right side. This is a, yeah, the trading column, which I'm using for trading. In my opinion, it's the best way to trade with Sierra chart. Uh, especially when you are a day trader and you want to hit different prices, uh, special prices um, for your trading. So you see directly which orders are displayed here. At the moment, the market is closed. So the liquidity, you see it, it's uh, um, EVE, E-mini future, S&P 500 is very low because the market is closed here. And yeah, the chart DOM is very good for control, for open your orders, for close your orders and to do it very quickly. On the left side, you see the um, chart trader. This is another way to trade on Sierra. But in my opinion, it's not so fast um, like the chart DOM. But we need this left window to do some settings in, yeah, in a few minutes. Okay how to um, implement this chart DOM in Sierra chart. First of all, we click here on trade. Make sure that um, there's a check mark on chart trade mode on. This is important. And below that you see chart trading chart DOM. Yes, this is where you click and now the chart DOM is attached to your window. Okay, you see the orders are displayed and it's maybe it's, it's a little bit different from your order book because I'm using the um, data feed of Rhythmic. In my opinion, Rhythmic is the best data feed, one of the best data feeds um, because I see uh, more orders here, yeah, more, more prices than in a lot of um, yeah, other um, other data feeds. For example, um, you can limit it here. I limit it here that um, it only shows like this. Uh, I don't know, like about 20 prices. Yes, you can see a lot more here if you want. Okay, how to trade here? Just click here on the right or left column with your mouse. Yeah, then comes a confirmation. But first of all, First of all, we want to customize this chart DOM. You see here the um, the ask limits and the bid limits. Yeah, and you can directly buy into it or sell into it, or open a buy stop order, a sell stop order, open a sell limit, open a buy limit. This this is all possible with the um, yeah chart DOM. How to how to use this and customize is it is very easy. You need to click here again on trade. Now you see here different settings on the right side. You click on chart DOM settings. This is very important. Um, these are my my overall settings for the chart DOM. I let it so uh, I let it so um, yeah because I'm used it for personal trading in other charts. So you see here what you have to do here what you can click, left click on buy column above last. That means if you click with, uh, if you do a left click above last, above the price, it means then you do automatically a buy stop order. Yes. Below that, right click on the buy column above last is also a buy stop order on my settings. You can change this, uh, for example, with a buy stop limit, buy limit, yeah by market if touched so or ignore this input yeah if you want so um yeah there's also um yeah for the for the sale column options left click on the sale column and above last sell limit and right click on the sale column above last sell stop okay these are the options for tra trading with the chart DOM. You can change it like you want. Um, yeah, here are more, more options um, below equal last and so on. I 
get the settings and you can start trading with it. Here are some other settings, um, clear current bid, ask volume on new positions and so on. Um, you can use this if you want. So let's see what we can do here. The market is already closed and I can not do any trade here. But if I click here, you see there comes the confirmation window. I don't want to see this every time I trade because it's very unnecessary. And yeah, it cost, costs time for me. I don't want to see it. So I have to use this chart trading window. Click on the M, go to confirmations and you can disable all these confirmations. Yeah, if you want. So if you disable this on your orders, you don't get this window if you want to trade here. Okay, this was a quick video for the chart DOM. I showed you how to use the settings. Why is it very good um, the, to use the chart DOM? How to uh, remove the confirmation orders? And now you can start trading. In the next video, I will show you um, yeah, how to trade with this chart DOM. I will so do some demonstrations for you and you see, will see it directly. I can't do it now because the market it is closed. Yeah, it's a moment. So that's a little bit bad, but we will see in the next video. And yes, have a nice trading day and use Sierra chart for a good trading. Goodbye.